What it do YouTube, I'm JT Blossom bringing you guys yet another Black Ops 3 Golden Weapon video and today I got the 48 Dredge for you and I also got a little bit of news today I should have a double upload, I should have a second upload right after this with the Diamond as uh, diamond Sniper Rifles just in case you want to see it I mean you probably already see it on someone else's channel but you know I'm trying to get Dark Matter so I can show you guys the proof that I have Diamond Weapons and uh, the secondaries, it's the secondaries and I should have the BRM tomorrow so that's what you should be looking for to, but let me stop talking about that and get on to the gun that we're looking at so as you can see on the screen I have the 48 dredge now the 48 dredge is definitely one of my favorite and preferred weapons that I've used golding it's really interesting and unique and why I say that is it's unique in two ways specifically first off it's the first LMG if I'm correct that is bursted in the whole Call of Duty franchise which is pretty cool not gonna lie second is it's a six first round gun so now in Call of Duty we have had a 2, a 3, a 4, 5, and now a 6 round burst gun. Okay, <clears throat> so with this gun, this gun is really, it's an interesting pick. And why I say that is, it's a really fun gun and I recommend anyone to use it. But I wouldn't use it in competitive, it's not that reliable. But this gun is really fun to use and it's, I, I definitely recommend it to anyone who's trying to, one, if you want to have something unique in your classes besides, you know, some basic ass guns like the Man of War or the freaking BMP. It's something to give you some diversity and that's what every player should have. But um, this gun, what I really need to say is you have to be accurate. Like the XR2 and the Pharaoh, you don't really need to be that accurate because you can burst really fast and you can you can two burst them. But this gun is a lot weaker compared to it. So if you get one, if you get uh, all six bullets on that person, then you're gonna kill them without a doubt. But um, the nice thing is it has a two, uh, it has a really fast cycle rate, which is great because uh, since it has low damage output and you're probably gonna only hit three, maybe four shots, you should be able to kill that person. It's gonna, um, you know, it's a burst gun, so confrontations are quite hard compared to going against the fully automatic. But still, you should be winning a lot more of your gunfights compared to, you know, the XR2. The attachments that I really recommend on this, I definitely recommend the sight. I like the iron sight for if it was a fully automatic, but it's a burst gun. And so the fact that it's a burst gun means it's going to be jumping up and down. And having a circle means it's kind of it's kind of, uh, kind of annoying. So uh, I definitely recommend Red Dot or ELO. I prefer, actually really, I don't really care. I like uh, ELO and I like Red Dot. So it's a personal preference to me in my opinion. Um, I also really recommend foregrip. On most burst guns, I never use a foregrip, but unless it's the Pharaoh, because the foregrip just makes everything. It, there's no reason to have it. It's just a uh, wasteful, for, uh, wasteful attack. But in this case, I would definitely recommend using a grip. Um, you definitely need quick draw without a doubt. Stock is recommended, but it's not. It's, that's, that's a hard one. I personally think stock is. You definitely need it, and it's definitely worth it. You only unlock it. You unlock it right after quick draw, so you should always have it on. Um, and fast max. That's the last thing you should have. I mean, you don't really need it because you can always just, you know, hide in a corner or run away and you can, you know, you get to sprint while, uh, while reloading. So everything's cool. So you don't really need fast max all that much, but I like to have it on just in case. But, um, uh, that's, that's really all of my consensus on this. My, uh, my two cents. I really recommend this gun for you guys. It's really new. It's really unique. It's diverse, and it has a. It, it's really cool. And the camos look great on this gun. I'm not gonna lie. I only use one camo on it primarily, but all the camos look good on it. But I really do recommend this gun. I really want you guys to try it and tell me how you like it in the description because I love this gun. It's something that I definitely want to keep on my class with like the Argus and everything. And it's it's really fun to use. So, and that's that's all we're trying to do in Call of Duty. But um, that's all I really gotta say. So uh, just look forward to everything, and I'm really glad to bring you guys this content. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, I'm JT Boston, and I'll see you guys when I see you.